The Rolling Stones, Elton John, Sinatra, Ali Frazier, Zeppelin, Lennon, Rangers, Nick, all have one thing in common. The world's most famous arena. Madison Square Garden has been the place for entertainers since 1879. The garden is for the ages. The garden is forever. It's a different level of quality. It's a different level of service. It's a different level of finish. It's unmistakably Madison Square Garden. Built in 1968, the MSG that stands today is a New York icon with a rich history. But with new flashy venues being built around the country, MSG was in dire need of a renovation or a transformation as CEO Hank Ratner describes it. What was your biggest challenge? Well, the biggest challenge was getting it done while we still played. Everywhere else, you move somewhere, you close the building down. We had to do both. We had three summers where we shut down and we did the work, and we worked till about 3 p.m. every single day during the seasons when events were taking place. So the logistics of making that happen and getting done on time all three years for the start of the season wasn't easy. You notice the difference as soon as you walk in. An open entranceway nearly twice the size. Two 600 square foot screens on the ceiling, 96 new suites, Wi Fi throughout, two sky bridges suspended over the court, and a massive multimedia scoreboard. It took 2.6 million hours of labor to complete the transformation and cost $1 billion. Ratner was in charge of the transformation and is banking on more than just ticket sales to recoup the cost. We created new products and services, so it's just not a matter of raising prices. I mean, we're in Chase Square right now, so we created an asset where uh, we had a marketing partner who found it desirable. The Chase Bridges, this is inventory that didn't exist before. Our 20 event level suites, inventory that didn't exist before. So we're really able to work collaboratively with our partners and our fans and create new products and services people want, which helps pay the price for the transformation. How is it that the garden is able to pack people in to these games even when you don't win? That's what amazes me. It's an overall experience as we walk around and you say the billion dollar investment, you see the billion dollar investment. You see what it's like. You know, we, we can stop here and again, you look at the Garden 366. You look at the food offerings here. You look at the art program throughout. It is an experience. It's an adventure. It's an event to come to the Garden regardless of win or lose in that particular night. And that's what we try to do. I mean, it, it, it's a legendary icon that when people come here, they need to feel that they've experienced Madison Square Garden. MSG The Building completed its transformation in October, while MSG The Company is still running up the score. You're sitting on no debt, and I know you haven't recouped the billion dollars. Don't you want to make another big investment? You know, we're, we're in a great position right now. As we transform the garden over the last three years, now it's time to go and transform MSG as its own company. We have no debt. You're looking at two full city blocks that we own that we have no mortgage on, and we're looking for opportunities to grow the company. We're reopening the forum in Inglewood, California. We bought that earlier last year. We've been renovating it. So we're looking for smart and good opportunities to go invest and to grow our business.